first enable rabbitmq management plugin so we need to run this command to enable rabbitmq management plugin So right now I am in RabbitMQ server. So we need to execute this command to enable management plugin. So we need to put we need a uh, pseudo permission. So if you want to disable, you can use disable here so you can see following plugins have been disabled if you want to enable run this command okay the following plugins have been enabled so here you can see rabbitmq management next we need to restart rabbitmq server okay then now we can open the web console so just first find the IP of the RabbitMQ server so in my case it's this is IP of my server so let me copy that IP okay then go to the browser then so we need to specify this port number 15672 then you will get one login page just type the username guest and password so this is the GUI of RabbitMQ management server So here you can see the exchanges then queues if you want to go to one particular exchange you can for example this exchange click on that you can see the you can see the um, queues associated with that exchange here these are the queues so if you want to go to one particular queue click here that will go to that particular queue so so in this queue if you want to you can publish a message into this queue using this form if you want to get the message from the queue you can use this this part get message delete or purge you can delete the message from the queue then binding you can bind this a binding means uh, you can bind one routing key then the consumates so these are the information available in this GUI channels connections then overview 